and still going to draw a fairy mushroom house. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need... Paper and something to color with. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's start by drawing a wiggly line right here in the middle of our paper, but kind of towards the top so that we can draw it big. I'm going to draw it kind of maybe going up and then back down. Yeah, then we can draw the bottom part of our mushroom first. We're gonna start here and we'll draw a curve that comes down and then we're gonna come out like this and then back in, right at the bottom. Yeah, and then we can draw that same line on the other side. We'll curve out and make it big at the very bottom and then back in. Now let's draw the cap of our mushroom, or the top part. We're going to start here, and we're going to draw a, we can draw it kind of wiggly too if we want. Come out to the side, then we're going to come back around, and then we'll come over here, and then connect back in. Well, I like how wiggly you made it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Now let's draw the very top. We're going to start here, I'm going to come out like this and follow it around. So I get to the side over here. Oh, I got a little wider too. Well, we could do the same thing on the right side. We'll come over here and draw it coming out to the edge. Well, I like how big our mushrooms are. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna start here and we'll come up. And at the very middle, we're gonna curve back down and connect to the other side. Oh, we're using the whole paper, it's so awesome. Now let's draw the front door to our mushroom house. Right here, I'm gonna draw an upside down U. Come around and back down. And the edge of the door is a little lower than the outside edge of the mushroom. Then let's draw another upside down U inside that's a little smaller. And this one's also shorter than the outside. Now let's add a step to the front door. I'm going to draw a curve that connects the two U shapes and then in between. And then let's curve around like this and then connect in right there. We got a little, well, oh, that could be a welcome mat too. Oh yeah. That would be cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now right here, let's draw a curve that connects to the outside. Oh, we could even add grass. Let's draw zigzag lines right here for some grass. We could even draw some grass on this side too. Oh, I'm gonna add more grass on this side. Just draw really tall zigzag lines. Oh, I'm gonna draw more grass and add it maybe even behind. So maybe there's some grass that comes out behind the mushroom. So you don't have to draw it exactly like me because I'm drawing it kind of fast. Oh, I love that yours is different. That's awesome. Let's add little rocks too. We we'll draw a few little rocks around our doorstep. Oh, we could even add, should we draw another mushroom? Let's repeat the same steps, but let's draw this one a little smaller. So I'm gonna draw this line, but smaller over here on the left. I could even draw another one on the right. Then let's draw that, the bottom part of the mushroom. Behind, this one's behind the grass. I think it looks so cool. Draw the other side. Then let's repeat this shape and it can be smaller. So we'll just come out, around, and then connect back in. I love drawing mushrooms. Yeah, same. It's a lot of fun. Then we're gonna repeat the same step. After that, we'll draw two lines coming out to the side. And then let's draw the very top. Maybe this one's a little thicker. It comes up and then back down. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay, now let's add more details to our main mushroom house. Let's draw a doorknob so you can get in. We could add a little window right here too. Let's draw a square rectangle shape. Let's add another window right here above the door. I'm gonna draw another square shape. Oh, this one could have shutters. Let's add a rectangle shape on the left 
and another rectangle shape on the right. And we could also draw um, panes. So we'll draw two lines straight down and then two lines across like this to add little window panes, smaller windows to make up a bigger window. Mm -hmm. And we could also add the bottom of the window, come around and then back up. Let's add a window up here at the very top too. I'm gonna draw, this one's a different shape. I'm gonna draw a straight line and then a rainbow line on top. And then we could also add the bottom of the window. Oh, let's add a frame around the whole thing. And we could even add two lines straight down. And then let's add two diagonal lines on the left and also on the right. We could add even more windows, but let's leave it just like that and add a chimney. Let's add a cute chimney. We're going to draw a diagonal line coming out and up. And then let's draw another one right next to it that's a little bigger. That matches. And then let's draw the top of our chimney. I'm going to draw a straight line across. And then let's draw an upside down V to turn it into a triangle. Hallie, we did it. We finished drawing our mushroom house. Yeah, it looks really cute. Except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. We're almost done coloring. It looks awesome. Hadley, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Now we are adding even more details, like more rocks and also some shading to make it look more three-dimensional. I thought we could add another thing too. We have our, well, this is the wrong color. I'm using Y611, if you have the same biannual markers for this underside, but I wanna add a little more texture to make it look even more like a mushroom. So this color is Y529 and I'm gonna draw right here, I'm gonna add a line that comes in and connects on each side like this to the outside. And then right here in the middle, I'm gonna draw a line down the middle like this. So it kind of divides it up like a pizza pie. Yeah. Yeah. And then watch this, we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw another line coming this way and maybe also another line here. And then in between each of these, I'm gonna add even more lines. It really looks like a mushroom now. Yeah, th that texture underneath the mushroom, it's kind of the gross part of the mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> I never like looking at the underside. <laughs> but this makes it look more like a mushroom with that texture. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. So we just added a darker brown on top. And right here, now I'm going to divide up the underside here this way. So I like doing it in between because then it looks evenly spaced. And then also it turns and goes around the mushroom. Yeah. It's kind of a trick. And it looks like that it's like going in. Oh yeah, mushroom. like it's curving in. Yeah. Yeah, that looks really cool. Okay, let's fast forward some more and we'll finish up our drawings. Hallie, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our mushrooms. They turned out so cute. I love the little texture on the bottom and also the white spots you added. Yeah. I hope our art friends are gonna color their drawings too. Yeah, I hope so too. You guys can color it just like us or you can change your drawings and color them any way you want. You could also add more details. Maybe there are more mushrooms or even a gnome. Oh, yes. There could be a gnome hiding in the background. Or inside. Oh yeah, peeking out the window. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your mushroom house. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.